Welcome on into my review of the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. If you're interested in purchasing this device, I'll have a purchase link down in the video description. Starting off, want to touch on the specifications of this device and also we'll take a look at the build of the tablet and I want to end things with things that I'd like to see from future generations of Amazon tablets. So this is a seventh generation tablet, the 10.1 inch touchscreen version. It has a full 1080p HD video playback. So it's the largest screen in the seventh generation as well as the most powerful version with two gigabytes of ram and the cpu is a quad core that runs up to 1.8 gigahertz and in terms of the power you can kind of get a sense of it with how snappy the screen rotation is and then also launching an application such as the web browser it does so very quickly i had already preloaded it but just to show you what it looks like to load an application from the starting point it takes maybe about two seconds or so. This is going to be more than enough power for your typical user. In future generations, though, I'd like to see an Amazon Fire tablet that has a little bit more power at a higher price. But Amazon, they really like having budget-friendly tablet options. And to get to that price point, you have to make some sacrifices here and there. And I think that they do a good job of cutting out things that aren't necessarily needed in terms of getting it to a very affordable price. Now, this retails at $149.99, that's with special offers, and the 32 gigabytes of built-in storage. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it comes with special offers. That just means that on your lock screen, you're gonna have advertisements. If you wanna spend 15 extra bucks, then you won't have ads on your lock screen. And this is the 32 gigabytes of internal storage. They also make a 64 gigabyte internal storage version. I don't think it's worth the extra money because if you ever run out of space, there's an expandable memory card slot for micro SD cards up to 256 gigabytes. So again, if you need more storage space, you can just put in an expandable micro SD card. Now, moving on, talking about some more specifications here, the battery life is good for up to 10 hours of normal use. And I've been impressed with the battery life. I'd say that that's a fair estimation. I've been using some very power intensive apps and still at the end of the day of using it for, I'd say at least three, four, five hours, somewhere in that range, I was still at 50%. And again, this was with power intensive applications like playing PUBG Mobile and doing screen recording, which is very power intensive. Now to connect to the internet, you're gonna be able to connect through Wi-Fi. However, this tablet does not have the ability to connect through 4G. Again, this is one of those corners that they cut to get the price down to this reasonable budget-friendly option. And most people, they're gonna be just fine with having Wi-Fi connectivity and not necessarily needing a 4G option. All right, moving on, this tablet, a nice little added feature is it has Alexa hands-free built right into it. So if you have an Amazon Alexa Echo Dot, for instance, basically the functionality of that Alexa device is built right into this tablet. I currently have it turned off, but you can just quickly toggle it on and it's ready to go listening for you to say its name. And I don't want to say its name right now because that'll probably mess up the video, but I keep it off because I really don't use it all that often. And I have other smart devices around my house to use. And if you have it off, you'll save a little extra battery. So moving on from that, I want to talk about getting the most out of this tablet. So it comes obviously with the Amazon App Store, but Amazon's App Store doesn't have nearly the options of applications in comparison to the Android Google Play Store. And as you can see, I have the Google Play Store installed. Down in the video description, I'll link my tutorial on how you can get the Google Play Store on your Fire tablet. It's a pretty simple process. And it's a game changer to have the Android Google Play Store. It allows you to have access to thousands of additional applications that you can't get in the Amazon App Store. Big ones being things like the Chrome web browser, the Gmail application, the YouTube application, as well as PUBG Mobile. And again, the list goes on and on. So if you want to get the most out of your tablet, I highly recommend getting the Google Play Store. Now, I also want to talk about reading on this tablet. Now, if you're going to be using your tablet primarily for reading, I'd probably recommend getting a smaller screen size because with the 10 inch tablet, you're probably going to need two hands to be able to read. And it's, it's pretty heavy. And a lot of people like to read with just one hand on the tablet. It's doable. But again, I think you're probably better off getting a smaller screen size if your primary usage is going to be reading books. 
Every other use case though, I think is better on the larger screen. And then also obviously the 10 inch model is more powerful, but in terms of viewing video, browsing, different applications, browsing the web, better on the bigger screen in my opinion. Now to close out this video, I have a list of things I'd like to see from Amazon tablets in the future when they go to the eighth generation. And this want list, it basically you can compile it all into a tablet that I'd like to see that they put in the more premium tier, maybe in the 250 to $300 range. And that's a tablet that either has three gigabytes or four gigabytes of RAM as an option for about 50 to $100 more. Also, having a tablet with the ability to connect to 4G would be nice. Higher quality cameras, again, in a more premium version would be great. And then maybe a smaller bezel size in a premium version would also be great. But these are minor gripes that I have. And again, at this price point, I'm not too salty about the fact that there isn't these other options available on this tablet. If you're looking for a budget-friendly tablet, it's gonna be hard finding something that's better than this, especially if you get it with that Android Google Play Store add-on. So thanks guys for stopping on in. Subscribe for more, and I hope to see you back here for future videos.